Tai Zhu is an obsessive perfectionist. He likes to live a routine life, eating exactly 135 calories for breakfast, keeping everything around the house in its designated place, and picking up tiny loose threads from his clothes to make them perfect. He doesn't realize he has an obsession because it has gotten him far in life, especially in his work. He currently works as an agent in Korea's biggest security firm, Top National Security, widely known as NIS. One thing about Taiju is that he despises animals of all kinds. One day, in an elevator, he comes across a man and his pet pug. Taiju calls the animal a punk and makes faces at it when its owner isn't looking. Then, his worst nightmare comes true when the dog pees on him. The owner rubs it all over Taiju's face while apologizing. At work, he practices shooting a little more aggressively. That day, his mood gets better only when his colleagues congratulate him in advance for a promotion that he is about to get. Then, everyone is called to a meeting to discuss their next big project. They have to escort a VIP from China to an event and ensure her safety. The event is organized to celebrate 25 years of diplomatic relationship between China and Korea. The VIP has been sent to Korea as a sign of peace and is crucial for diplomatic relations between the two countries. It turns out that the said VIP is a panda from China named Ming Ming. The director asks if anyone wants to volunteer to be the chief of security for the event. Although Taiju hates animals, this opportunity might secure his promotion, so he smugly agrees to do it. On the day of the event, everyone is excited about Ming Ming's arrival. Taiju keeps the event premises in check and makes sure everything is secure. Several military dogs have also been brought to ensure absolute safety. Taiju meets his junior agent, Crony, who has just returned from a trip to New Zealand, hoping to impress Taiju. Crony shows him a pen that temporarily stops all electronic devices within a hundred mile radius. Crony has good intentions, but he always screws up because of his luck. Hence, Taiju asks him to stay where he is and not interfere in anything. The program finally begins, and Ming Ming comes out in public while everyone cheers and takes pictures. But trouble arises when a group of thugs arrives at the venue with smoke bombs and tranquilizers. They throw the bombs to the stage, making everyone run away. Ming Ming also panics and runs around. Crony sees this and gets on a cart to follow her. Taiju also runs behind her but has to stop when the thugs hit Ming Ming with the tranquilizer gun. He tries to stop them, but they use another smoke bomb to get her inside the van and escape. Taiju is about to follow them, but just then Crony hits him with his cart proving that his existence brings trouble. Taiju flies in the air and falls down, hitting his head on the concrete. Before passing out, he sees a guard dog running towards him. The dog asks him why he is sleeping in such a serious situation and follows the van. When Taiju wakes up, he finds himself in his house with a cervical collar. It turns out that the event from yesterday was declared a trap organized by NIS to ensure nothing like that would happen in the real event. This was done to hide Ming Ming's kidnapping from the media. Taiju gets on the elevator to go to work where he again meets the pug from yesterday. This time, he can hear the dog talking to himself, saying that he wants to pee on Taiju's face again. He freaks out, thinking that he might be going crazy. The dog then begs him to be his interpreter and requests his owner to not castrate him. Taiju runs directly to the supermarket to buy healthy food and medicine, thinking that he is sick. In the pet section of the store, a hamster begs Taiju to take him home and even offers a discount. Following that, a hedgehog boasts about its spines, trying to compete against the hamster as they argue about who is the better pet. Taiju runs away. He goes to work and hears the fishes in the tank laughing at him. They find it funny that he was hoping for a promotion until yesterday, and now he is about to be fired. Taiju asks his director if he is being removed from service. She claims that he is one of the best agents, so losing him would be a huge loss for the company. The fishes then talk about an employee dropping boogers into the tank making a lot of noise irritating Taiju, who breaks down into a scream when all the employees look at him in confusion. He tells the director that he can talk to animals, thinking that he isn't in his right mind. She asks him to take a rest for a few days. After that, Taiju goes to the zoo where the fake Ming Ming is being kept. In reality, the panda is crony in a costume who has been put there so that people won't suspect the real one has been kidnapped. As Taiju and crony chat in the back room, Crony accidentally lights his costume on fire and has to be taken to the hospital. While returning home, Taiju is called by a female gorilla. She claims to know where he can find the VIP panda but asks for a magazine in return for the information. Taiju brings her a magazine published by National Geographic. She fangirls over the pictures of celebrity gorillas in the magazine. Then, 
She informs Taiju of a dog named Ali who jumped over him when he fell unconscious yesterday. That dog followed the kidnappers and still recognizes their scent. If Taiju can find the dog, he can be led to the kidnappers. That evening, he goes to an abandoned house where the dog is bragging about his bravery to a group of animals. The animals listen in awe as he explains how he saved a group of soldiers in Serbia. When Taiju comes into their view, they attack him for being a human. He throws sausages to them and manages to distract everyone. Following that, he catches Ali and runs away with him. On the car ride back home, he asks the dog about the panda kidnappers, but Ali refuses to reveal anything. He takes advantage of the opportunity and asks for unlimited food. The two come to Taiju's spotless apartment. Ali runs around the place as Taiju sweeps the path that he walks on. The next morning, Taiju wakes up and almost doesn't recognize his apartment because it has been thoroughly trashed by the dog. As Ali is being scolded, Taiju's daughter, Seo Yan, arrives with two of her friends. Seo Yan's mother died a long time ago, after which her and Taiju's relationship hasn't been the same. They do not live together because of Taiju's job. So, he had invited her to the house, promising to throw her a birthday party. However, on seeing the house trashed, she realizes that her father forgot her birthday yet again. As Taiju apologizes, Ali catches Seo Yan's attention. She is happy that her father finally got over his irrational fear of animals and adopted a dog. Taiju doesn't want to hurt her, so he doesn't tell her the truth. Then, they go to the park and enjoy the day, playing with the dog. In the evening, before she leaves, Taiju tries to hug her, but the little girl stops him and initiates a fist bump. The fireworks nearby remind Ali of his time in Serbia, and he gets anxious. On being asked, he says that he remembers the scent of the person who kidnapped Ming Ming. It was the same person who killed his master in Serbia. A flashback shows us that Ali was a shy dog until his master, Sue, came along. She was the only person he got along with. But one day, when they were in the enemy's territory, an explosion killed her. Ali tried to attack the person who set off the explosive and found out that he had a prosthetic leg. Yet, he couldn't stop the man. That day, when Ming Ming was kidnapped, he smelled the man's scent again and recognized him. After learning of his story, Taiju feels bad for the dog. Ali chases him playfully, asking him to smell his butt like a dog. Somewhere else, in a warehouse, Ming Ming asks to only eat exclusive bamboo and not the cheap twigs. So, the kidnappers get her bamboo from a farm. The following day, Ali leads Taiju to a bamboo farm where he smells the scent of the kidnapper. They ask the bamboo seller's pet goat and find the kidnapper's license plate number. After further research, they come across the founder of a successful biotech company, Man Seek. On seeing his picture, Ali instantly recognizes him as Ming Ming's kidnapper. Taiju is skeptical, but he trusts Ali's instincts. They go to the company's headquarters and find out that Man Seek is about to launch a new project. He plans to create a toy panda by cloning the genes of a real panda. They will be like a new species that people can keep as a pet. Since the Chinese government holds exclusive rights to pandas all around the world, he has stolen Ming Ming to use her genes. Taiju attacks Man Seek and his bodyguards and manages to arrest him. He quickly drives the criminal to the NIS headquarters, accidentally leaving Ali behind. NIS's director asks him what proof he has about Man Seek's involvement in the kidnapping, but Taiju has no answers. They find out that Man Seek was in New York when the kidnapping took place. Because of the false accusation, Taiju is fired from his job. After being let off, Man Seek goes directly to the people he hired to kidnap Ming Ming. It is revealed that a terrorist named Dimitri was the one who kidnapped Ming Ming. Ali got confused because Dimitri was wearing a realistic mask to look like Man Seek. In turn for Dimitri's service, he asks Man Seek for explosive capsules. The capsule, when fed to a human or an animal, will activate a timer and explode. Ali, who has been following Man Seek until now, hears all of this and finds out the truth. He also meets Ming Ming and promises to rescue her. He then runs back to Taiju's house and rings the doorbell, but Taiju doesn't open the door. He no longer trusts the dog since he lost his job because of him. The people from the military take the dog away to put him down. When Zio Yan returns from looking for Ali, she finds out that her father abandoned him. Seeing that she is sad and disappointed in him, Taiju decides to save Ali's life. He goes to the military dog shelter and rescues him. The dog is overjoyed to be saved until Taiju mentions that he hates him. He asks Ali to go away, but the dog is persistent. At last, he mentions that he saw Ming Ming and brings Taiju to the warehouse in the hills. Coincidentally, 
they happen to meet crony, who got lost during a hike. Taiju knows his presence means bad luck, so he asks him to stay outside. After that, Ali and Taizu carefully sneak into the warehouse. Using an electric gun, they manage to kill almost all of the terrorists. Dimitri and Taiju get into a fight. Taiju is about to get killed, but Ali saves him, and the two run away with the panda. They climb up the hill and roll several barrels down so the thugs cannot follow them. Along with one of the barrels, Crony also falls down. The other three run the entire night and reach a highway. Being the diva she is, Ming Ming asks for a limo because she cannot lose more weight. Later, they get on a bus, pretending that Ming Ming is a human in a panda costume. Upon reaching home, Taiju calls his daughter and introduces her to Ming Ming. They play together for a long time. Back in the warehouse, Man Seek is frustrated because of Ming Ming's disappearance. When he belittles Dimitri, the terrorists make him eat the explosive pill and lock him inside a room. It turns out that Dimitri's original plan was to feed the panda the pill and hand it back to the zoo. She was about to be present at an event where leaders of China and Korea met. Using the pill, he wanted to blow up the place along with the leaders. When the terrorist group is outside, the house explodes, indicating that the pill that was fed to Man Seek worked. Back in the house, Taiju calls the director and introduces her to Ming Ming. His house is also filled with all the animals he has talked to by now. They finally call a limo for Ming Ming and send her to the venue where the leaders are meeting. While seeing her off, Ali smells a weird scent and follows it. He is kidnapped by Dimitri's people again. Taiju and his daughter see them taking him away but cannot stop them in time. Taiju returns home and asks the parrot to find Ali. The parrot, in turn, tells all the birds in the city and starts looking for the dog. Meanwhile, Dimitri forcefully makes Ali and other military dogs eat the explosive capsule since they will also be in the venue. Dimitri wants to use them to cause the explosion. The program finally begins, and the world leaders meet each other. When it is Ming Ming's time to perform, Dimitri starts the countdown through his phone. The dogs are let out, making everyone panic since the doors are locked from outside. The audience doesn't get to run away. With only a few seconds left on the clock, Taiju runs to Crony and uses his special pen. The signal freezes all electronic devices, including Dimitri's phone, which means the explosives are diffused. Dimitri tries to run away but is chased by Ali. They get to the rooftop and fight each other. In the process, Ali is severely injured. Dimitri is about to shoot the dog when Taiju saves his life but gets shot himself. In the next scene, Taiju wakes up in a hospital bed. He finds out that Ali is also at a vet and is not doing well. He rushes to meet the dog and finds him dead on the table. He and Seo Yan cry, mourning his death. However, a while later, the vet says that Ali is just sleeping. The ending scene shows us Ali receiving a medal for his bravery from the director. Subscribe for more videos like this, and leave a like to help the channel. Thank you for watching.